Hi, welcome to Partner Solution Bytes. I'm Brad Ryan from AWS, and I'm joined here today by Sean McClary from Deloitte. Welcome, Sean. Hi, Brad. Today, we're going to talk about Deloitte's Optimal Reality Solution, which is a digital twin solution. Can you tell us a little bit about what a digital twin is and how it's used? Sure. So a digital twin is a digital version of a physical system, right? So if I wanted to build a better product or a system, I could have a digital version of it that I can actually virtually test and learn how I can make that system better into the future. Um, digital twins have actually been around for decades. So they started in the space sector. They've been used in aviation, Formula One. But we're seeing it much more widely in lots of our clients these days. Cool. And so given the broad use case, can you tell us a little bit about optimal reality and specifically the use case that it solves? Yeah, so optimal reality is focused really in the area of smart cities and more specifically around real-time networks. So think like transport networks or energy networks. Um, and so an example of the types of problems that we're solving for, if you think of transport and the eternal problem being congestion, you can solve for congestion problems by building more infrastructure or optimizing the infrastructure that you have. We're, we're primarily focused on the latter. Okay, cool. And so just to help make that a bit real, is there a customer that you've been doing this with? Yeah, so for example, we're doing work at the Department of Transport in Victoria these days, so building a digital twin of the whole state, but down to a micro simulation level. So what every single uh, road vehicle, what the public transportation system is doing in real time across the network, and then we can scale it up to see what's happening around the whole of the state. And that's a solution that actually is used by operators within the command center. I mean, that's a massive amount of data you're trying to optimize there. Can you tell us a little bit about how you're you know, bringing that data into the platform and what you do with it? So there's lots of different data sources into the twin. So you've got information from signaling systems, from the CCTV network, where we use AWS Panorama um, as part of our solution called OR AutoEye to actually understand what's happening uh, using computer vision tech. Um, we've got third-party data that goes into the system, information from Bluetooth. So it gives us a really full picture ac across the whole of the transport network. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. And so by using your platform, the state of Victoria is able to improve the traffic flow end-to-end -to -end across the state. That, that is the whole goal of the, uh, the project, right? So optimize the transport network using a digital-based approach. Wow, I mean, that's impressive. And I mean, does Optimal Reality only do transport networks or can you use it for other types of networks? Yeah, so once again, we're, we're focused on this kind of broader smart city space, right? And so um, while transport has been our core focus, we're particularly interested around these other real-time network problems that intersect into that. So you think the big problem faces everyone around climate change. The intersection around transport and energy is really important. So transport is one of the biggest sources of emissions. Building a digital twin of actually how those two areas work together more effectively to electrify and decarbonize the network is something that we're focused on. Okay, cool, excellent. And so if I was a customer and I was looking to you know, build a digital twin myself, you know, how would I get started with optimal reality? Yeah, so um, you know, we work with customers that start at a number of different points, right? So sometimes it's like a proof of concept and they want to actually see, you know, can I've got this one really wicked problem that I've always wanted to solve, can it actually even be solved? Sometimes actually it's a big program vision that they already have. And, and so there's, there's multiple ways that you can start. I guess the, the big point is that we work really closely with customers to, to solve for that. So we have integrated teams around how we deliver these types of solutions with clients. Okay, awesome. And can you tell me a little bit, if, if a customer was thinking about building it themselves, what are the advantages of using a platform like Optimal Reality versus building yourself? Yeah, so we've been you know, building this platform for years, right? And we've done work at a number of different clients. So we're starting with something really significant there in terms of the core platform. We then build sometimes specific apps for clients around their targeted problems. So sometimes we'll build apps. Uh, sometimes there are apps that need to be built specifically for clients, but you're starting on the base that's already been built. Uh, we've got some fantastic expertise in the team, so people that have worked in sectors like Formula One. Um, and so that's, that's the advantage. And then you know, a real kind of strong points for us are our capability to be, uh, do real-time operations. We think that's probably our strongest suit is how fast optimal reality solution can run. Um, and it's built on a stack of newer technologies, including some amazing AWS tech uh, that gives us a real point of difference. And that is amazing. And so if a customer has implemented optimal reality, do you uh, maintain that and support that over time? Yeah, so we work across the full spectrum of design, build, and, and operations of the solution. So we would typically run this as a, a managed service with them. Uh, once again, different kind of models depending on what clients need around um, the role that they may play in support or operations of the solution as well. Uh, and, you know, but, but typically we play the full, full life cycle of the role. 
Thanks for coming in today, Sean, and telling us about Optimal Reality and the great work you guys are doing transforming Australia's transport network. Thanks, Brent. If you want to know more about Optimal Reality, click on the link below. And thanks for joining us on Partner Solution Bytes today, and have a great day. <laughs>